What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another Jailbreak status update video. Uh, I talked about the, the Fugu 14 that's kind of gonna come out this weekend, hopefully, uh, in a previous video. And I haven't done a full-on Jailbreak update video in quite some time. Um, 2021's been a little bit dry on the Jailbreak scene, unfortunately, so uh, the, the last you know couple months I've been focusing a lot on uh, doing non-jailbreak stuff, but I think we're getting towards jailbreak season here finally and I just want to quickly talk about all of the current jailbreaks um, I'm also going to talk about it at the end of this video what my iPhones are on in terms of what versions they're they're on and what I'm Planning on doing with them in terms of jailbreaking because I know some people get very curious About what I'm gonna do with my iPhones and they you know like to just know that I guess so I'll talk about that at the end of the video but first I'm gonna cover the current jailbreaks now remember I do these videos frequently normally uh, I will be doing them frequently here again so uh, if you guys are watching this in the future this information might not be accurate and uh, if you see any other information on YouTube um, that doesn't align with this video that is a fake scam video unfortunately that's a huge problem on YouTube so hopefully I help you guys out so uh, first off, iOS 15, that's the easiest one to talk about. Um, iOS 15 jailbreak, there is no jailbreak for iOS 15. Uh, CheckRain is not updated for iOS 15, and there is no uncover jailbreak or touring or anything for iOS 15 uh, yet. I think we will be seeing it soon, but there is nothing as of the making of this video. Now in terms of iOS 14, this is pretty easy as well because it's basically been the same for just about the whole year. So CheckRain, you can jailbreak iPhone 10 and older with CheckRain, all versions of iOS 14 from 14.0 up to 14.8, all versions iPhone 10 and older. So no, you cannot use CheckRain on an iPhone 10R. You cannot use CheckRain on an iPhone 10S or 10S Max. Those are newer than the iPhone 10. So iPhone 10 and older CheckRain. And then we also do have, of course, Uncover, iOS 11 all the way up to 14.3, all devices. And then that is basically the same as Touring, iOS 14.0 up to 14.3, all devices. Those are the current jailbreaks. Now let's talk about iOS 15 because I'm pretty excited for it. So if you guys remember, um, Apple suddenly patched uh, something and it was uh, iOS 15.0.2 which was, I don't remember, it was maybe like a couple weeks ago or something like that, October 11th, so like 10 days ago, um, or 11, day, 11 days ago, but it only patched one thing, and that is the IOMFB, which is the IO Mobile Frame Buffer, and this is usable for a jailbreak, and we do have a write-up for it, uh, basically a proof of concept on how the exploit could work, and Word on the street is that is totally usable for a jailbreak on iOS 15. So for those of you that, that might be on iOS 15, don't update your iPhone. Uh, stay on 15.0.1 or older, or even I think 15.1 uh, beta 1, 2, or 3. Don't quote me on the betas, but I think you can be on a version of iOS 15.1 beta, uh, and this will still work on it. Um, so just take note on that. Uh, best versions for iOS 15 right now, for those of you that are on iOS 15 and you want a jailbreak, be on 15.0.1 or 15.0. Those are the two good firmwares to be on for iOS 15. Um, as far as everyone that might be on iOS 14 still, I did do a previous video talking about Fugu 14. Um, a little bit of information about this. It's kind of unclear what this is exactly. Some people think it is a, a full-fledged jailbreak. Uh, some people think that it's just the exploit that could be used uh, to update jailbreaks. So meaning like Touring or Uncover could implement Fugu 14 to make their utilities untethered, which would also allow them to work from 14.3 up to 14.5.1, which would also mean that Touring and Uncover would technically work 14.0 to 14.5.1. Also, this says that this is for ARM 64E devices, which is going to be um, iPhone um, 10S, 10R, and 10S Max or newer, I believe. 
that's what that's for. So basically iPhone 10 and older is ARM 64. Uh, and then anything newer than iPhone 10 is ARM 64 E. Uh, but it's unclear. Uh, I guess what the developer is saying is that uh, Fugu 14 can be updated to work for the older iPhones. And if that's the case, it kind of has me wondering if this could be implemented into CheckRain some way. Could this could this exploit uh, allow CheckRain to be untethered? Because if that is the case, that would be pretty awesome. Um, but also, you know, not really because it's up to 14.5.1. So that would be useless for me at least because i am not on those versions it's kind of unclear um like i said this is supposed to come out uh this sunday so if it's released i will of course do a video and uh explain it to you guys how that all works uh and that's basically all the real news there is as far as pwn my and manticore i have no idea what's going on with that it seems like it just kind of faded away um it's kind of weird uh, like they're talking, you know, how they're going to do Manticore and then they're going to do Pwn My, Safari Jailbreak 14.6. And just like, they just seemed like they kind of disappeared. So I'm not really sure, uh, what's up with that. Of course, if anything happens, I'll cover it, but, uh, Pwn My, Manticore, there hasn't really been any word as of late about anything on that. Uh, and that's, that's basically it. So, so for those of you that are still sticking around that are curious, about what I'm going to do on my iPhones. So that would be my iPhone 10 and my 12 Pro Max here. Um, if you guys didn't know, I actually lost the the jailbreak on my iPhone 10s Max, which was on 14.3. Um, I was doing Taurin testing and testing out beta versions of Taurin. And I was kind of a dum dumb and just kind of messed up and it, it caused me to go into a boot loop. Uh, so I did lose the jailbreak on that iPhone. So uh, <clears throat> at this point, the only jailbreakable iPhone I have right now is the iPhone 10, um, which I did find blobs for. I did save blobs with uh, the blob saver on my Mac, and I have blobs for 14.5.1, um, but I'm probably not going to use future restore and downgrade this iPhone from 14.7.1 to 14.5.1. And the reason being is because I don't I don't want something weird to mess up during that process and I lose the jailbreak on this iPhone too. So if future restore were to you know have an issue or something like that and I go into a boot loop, I would basically be forced to update to iOS 15 because that's the only signed version of iOS right now, which would mean I would lose the jailbreak on this iPhone as well because uh, this is my check rein iPhone. So I don't really want to risk it. It would be cool to downgrade to 14.5.1 so I could try out Fugu 14. However, it, it is gonna be coming out. I, like I said, I don't know if it's a jailbreak all of its own or if it's an exploit for like Taurine and Uncover to use. Like I said, it's kind of unclear. So I'll probably keep this iPhone just as it is for now. And uh, we'll see what happens when Fugu 14 comes out. And then as far as iOS 15, I have my 12 Pro Max here, which is on version 15.0.1, uh, which is the the firmware to be on right now for iOS 15. So that is the most promising firmware. Uh, of course, it's always best to just not update your iPhone. So that's what I have begun on the 12 Pro Max, which I did not do at all last year because I had the other iPhone. So uh, this will be the main jailbreak iPhone once there is a jailbreak available for it. Uh, so that is my plan for the 12 Pro Max. I will have a daily jailbreak, uh, jailbroken iPhone, uh, hopefully soon. So as soon as iOS 15 is jailbroken, we're going to be using the 12 Pro Max like crazy. Um, and that's basically it. So iPhone 10, 14.7.1, going to stay there. And then also the 12 Pro Max on 15.0.1, going to stay there. And that's the rule of thumb with jailbreaking. If you want a jailbreak, do not update your iPhone. Stop updating your iPhone, and at some point you will get a jailbreak. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more jailbreak updates in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.